You must extinguish this fear of failure and embrace it. This one is like driving what Indonesian people living in Africa. Society is totally wrong. Why do they go to school? The universal power to touch yourself. My soul. internet friends are my real friends. The worst possible thing you can do in an accident. What is body language? What is home? Just listen. I am the typical teenager. I take risks, I want freedom, I don't want to listen to what my parents have to say. I want, to, I want money, I want to experiment, and I want to stay out on weekends. I'm happy one second and sad the next. I hate everybody, but at the same time, I want everyone to be my friends. I hate when my parents take away my phone, and I always tend to be in the middle of family drama. Now, to begin with my own past risky behavior, I made one of the worst possible mistakes any teenager could make. You could say I experimented with the car, and it just went downhill from there. Literally. So, that probably wasn't the best decision I could have made, but I did get a lot of things out of it. Green schools being one of them. So, I arrived at green school and started wondering, how did I get here? Why do we act the way we do? Why are we so different than everybody else? We're not little kids anymore, but then again, we're not ready to take on adulthood. We can't run around the field, play hide and go seek, but at the same time, we're not ready to get up every day, go to work, and pay bills. So I started doing research on the teenage brain, and I came to a surprising conclusion that it's not that we're bad, it's not that we're stupid, it's not that our brains are half-baked. <laughs> the way teenagers behave is by design, designed by evolution to launch us successfully into adulthood. Adults and teens act different in many ways. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like we're living on two completely different universes. Each teenager is so caught up in our own thoughts. We're unable and we're so detached from everyone else's emotions and perspectives. I bet many of you could say we're selfish, and we are in many ways. But in my eyes, we're learning day by day. We're preparing ourselves for the future ahead, for adulthood. Adults and parents don't understand why we behave so impulsively and dangerously. At times, it seems like teens don't fully consider or understand their consequences. So, I did a little bit of more research on the brain and how it functions. This right here, this is the frontal cortex. It's used for planning and reasoning. This part of the brain doesn't fully develop until the start of early adulthood, and it's still maturing well into adulthood. So, since teenagers can't fully process, access this part of the brain, we tend to use this part. This is our amygdala. This part of the brain is used for emotion and gut responses. So, since we can't fully access this part of the brain, we use our amygdala kind of like it was our prefrontal cortex. Now, I don't... Oh, did you know that teenagers often misinterpret the emotions of sadness, anger, and fear? It's scientifically proven through tests and studies. But it isn't yet scientifically proven why we misinterpret these emotions. But if you put all the pieces together, it kind of makes sense it maybe has something to do with your prefrontal cortex. Now, I don't know about you, but I found that pretty cool. So, after I found out all that scientific research on the brain, I understood why teenagers and adults have such a hard time understanding one another. But what I really wish we knew and fully considered was that evolution is meant to happen. We're meant to go through childhood, teenhood, adulthood, and grandmahood. Each stage in our lives defines who we are and who we will become. So now ask yourself, is the teenage brain really immature and under construction? Really, think about it. What if we know isn't the full story? What if instead of teen brains being half-formed brains, teen brains were shaped by evolution to be exactly what we needed to be to be successful adults? It's not that bad, right? Adults, look at yourselves. You are who you are because based on your past. Now imagine this, what if we skipped over those teen years? What if they never happened? We wouldn't turn out so smart. 
from childhood to adulthood? No, it doesn't work like that. Teenagers are the period's most important and significant creatures. It's easy to say we're stupid, but we're not. Society is totally wrong. In order to evolve into who you are, humans need to go through risk-taking and thrill. Adults are seen in society as higher power and more superior. Society puts teenagers in a place of belonging. We are a stereotype. Society has made us believe we are impulsive, reckless, selfish, and anxious. I'm not saying it's not true, but we feel differently. We often feel misunderstood, alone, and judged. And we often show that through ways that are so unfamiliar to adults. There's just way too much going inside our head. It's human nature to love new and exciting things. Take roller coasters, for instance. Do you notice that teenagers, adolescents, tend to go on roller coasters more than adults do? That's because adults have already experienced the thrill and excitement of going on their first roller coaster. They have already experienced the bang, the stimulation, and that blast of pleasure. We seek sensation for the buzz of the unusual and the unexpected. Although sensation seeking can often lead to negative dangerous behaviors such as becoming addicted to a drug, it can also come out to positive ones. For instance, like the urge to meet new people can create a wider circle of friends which makes you more successful, more safe, and happier and healthier. So, unprotected sex and drugs. We all take different sorts of experimental risks. If you're more likely to start taking long-term drugs or drinking alcohol when you're a teenager, when you're an adult, you tend to not drink as much or take as many drugs. Because you've weighed out the risk and have already been exposed to the danger. Human beings make mistakes. We're supposed to. It's human nature. And teenagers and adults weigh out our problems the same way. But teenagers aren't able to fully process it as a danger. Teenagers take more risks, not because we don't understand, but because we weigh risk versus reward differently. So it's risk versus reward. We all want to be accepted. And the teenage years is when we want to, feel, we want to fit in most with our peers. We don't want to be the odd one out, and we want to feel hip and cool. So let's say you're at a party, and this girl or guy you don't really know comes up to you and gives you a cigarette. What do you do? Do you take it or do you not take it? Are you going to fall under the peer pressure, or are you going to listen to your parents and do the right thing? Teenagers take peer relations as if it was the most important things in their lives. We receive social rejection as if it was a threat to extinction. We react to social ups and downs as if our fate depends on it. So a neuroscientist, BJ Cassie, states, we're so used to seeing adolescence as a problem. The more we learn about what really makes us peer unique, the more adolescence starts to seem like a highly functional, even adaptive period. It's exactly what you need to do the things you have to do them. So, for my Greenstone project, I put together a four-set uh, canvas that, and I wanted to communicate to you guys what the teen brain meant to me. I found my love for art and painting this year, and art is probably the most excited I get when I'm expressing myself. So I just go on and on, and when I was painting this painting, I thought of so many things, so many things came to mind. There was love, emotion, music, technology, experimentation, this is supposed to represent sleep, and this is school. So, the teenager is an angel and a devil. We're sweet and then we're sour. A big part of life is making mistakes. And I tried to express myself in the most imaginative way I could in this painting. So, a lot of us can agree that the teenagers are hard. 
and I am right now struggling with being a teenager. But now that I'm about to graduate high school and become an adult, I don't want to grow up. I want to stay a teenager. I mean, I don't want to get a job and I don't want to pay bills. <laughs> Responsibilities are going to be such a pain. But the teenage years are so crucial. Without the teen years, how do you think we would end up? If we skipped over all those years, if we were smarter earlier, would we end up more stupid? I think we would. But as difficult as it is, we all need to recognize and thank teenagers. We are the period's most misunderstood, chaotic, and weird creatures. We're all part of evolution. Everything is meant to happen for a reason. We are who we are because of experience, because of mistakes, and because of our discoveries. Thank you.